Keeping clients in the loop with client reporting allows you to keep an eye on the client's needs and wants and share the latest updates. Don't go anywhere. We have the scoop on efficiently presenting reports and results to your client. Client reporting aims to provide your client with info on the achieved results. It allows you to open a conversation by sharing updates on what's been done. By filling your clients in regularly on the results, you are building trust, opening the doors to communication and adhering to clients' needs to fulfill their expectations. If you want to learn more about clients' expectations, we have a video on that topic that you should check out. We leave a link under the video. Client reporting lets you connect and inform them of the project's progress. To bring client onboarding to your day-to-day -day practice, here are some tips. Keep it simple. Always keep in mind the purpose of presenting your client with a report. It aims to let the client in on the progress by showing them the data. If you work on many projects and with many clients, reviewing data is a large portion of what you do daily. But you shouldn't expect that your clients have the same knowledge or expertise. Keeping the client report simple ensures that your client fully understands the data. Reports that require expertise to be understood might prevent your client from reviewing and understanding them. When presenting your client with a report, make it easy to understand. What should a report include? The client report should include goals, metrics, KPIs, budget, revenue, ROI, and important events. These reports can be customized and will differ depending on the project and industry you're working in. If you're a graphic designer, your client might want to see the improvements in the design or the results of a recent campaign if you're a social media specialist. Agree on the goals, define KPIs and budget during onboarding. Define KPIs and set goals show if you have achieved what you hoped for and met the client's expectations. We have a video about onboarding your client to a project. Check it out below. Reporting on mistakes. Your report to the clients should be objective, including positive and negative aspects of the progress. Don't try to embellish reports and show only good aspects and wins, trying to paint an unrealistic picture of perfection. The client should know about mistakes, slip-ups, and oversight as well. It will even leave a good impression on your clients as you present them with issues that were resolved or avoided altogether. Report the pitfalls you avoided and share with your client how you overcame them to show them that their project is in good and capable hands. Provide guidance. Keep in mind that your client will not have the same experience, expertise or in-depth knowledge of the project as you or your team and provide them with guidance as you present the report. Elaborate further to explain essential elements or include notes to ensure complete understanding on the client's part. Your client will rely on you to fill them in with the necessary information and explanation. Provide guidance and cross-channel reports as you explain results and combine various data to analyze performance. Ensure your client understands what the numbers, charts and data represent. Approach each client as an individual. Some might need more, others less guidance, but your role requires you to provide as much guidance and explanation as they need. How often should you report to your client? Client reporting is a way to regularly update your clients on the project's progress and allow them to be included in the process. Depending on the type of the project, you can opt for daily, weekly or monthly reports. The dynamics of client reporting could also depend on the current situation. If you are dealing with a crisis or a due date approaching, you might choose to have reporting sessions more frequently. Some reports might require more details. For example, a quarterly or a yearly overview that should cover a longer period or remind your client of the past reports. Automate client reporting. Automating client reporting will save time to prepare the relevant data that will be presented to your client. Active Collab is a project management software equipped with a rich reporting section that allows you to extract the data about the project effortlessly and share it with your clients. You can also create a task list or a project to assign your team responsibilities and allow them to prepare the necessary data and reports. Automating client reporting in Active Collab will ensure you don't leave anything out when preparing the reports for your clients. 
Include everyone in your team, establish accountability, and evenly distribute responsibilities among team members. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. To bl define KPIs and set goals. Define the sorry. Keep in mind that your client will not have the same expertise. Oh, sorry. Experience. <laughs> a longer period or remind your 